Morning guys, what's up? It's an early start, it's 7 a.m. We're up ready for Epcot. We've got these guys, we've got Becca chilling there. Uber's on its way, we're trying to get there before opening. I've got a feeling it's going to be so busy today. We've got like dinner reservations, we've got fast passes, so we're going to be staying. So we'll see when we get to Epcot. <laughs> Just waiting at the gate for the Epcot 35th to get in. We've been here for like how long? We've been here. Not long. 45 minutes. Would you say that? No? Half an hour. Maybe about half. Oh, half an hour. Half an hour. But well, someone's just cheered, so I think they might be opening the gate soon. Look at look at Tim about to check in for the first time in three years. No. Oh, he's excited. Look. Gotta get this. Oh, look at it. We're in. And look at this amazing button. This is pretty cool. Yeah. You've got one as well? I do, it's with Dad right now, but yes. Yeah. So we're actually in the park. Early. And it's a huge it's like, rush. It's like uh, 8.30, 8.45. Yep. The line wasn't that bad to get in either. Oh, yes, look at this line. Yeah, this will be for the merch. I bet you this is for the merch. Everybody's going in. Wow, look at everybody run. God, everybody wants that merch. I want figments. <laughs> this is crazy. I know, this, right? is, this is why I hate Disney. <laughs> everybody's heading over to the pop up shop. Wow, look at everybody run. This is so crazy. So we made it into the park. Mad dash for merchandise. We've got our space for the speech which starts in roughly an hour's time. Um, it's quite a decent space considering this is all for the D23 over here. Um, so hopefully you can see the speech. Brady's quite short so we need to get somewhere where he can obviously see with a camera but there's a wall here so maybe you can stand on the wall or sit on the wall. So we've got like an hour wait until the speech. Back outside now, um, the rain stopped, Becca stayed outside, absolutely drenched. Brady stayed outside. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it stopped raining so I've come outside now, Tim's on the hunt for some pop vinyls. He's been gone nearly 45 minutes. I think they're getting ready for the speech, so hopefully the rain stays off. MVP. How many did you get? MVP. Let me see. Let me see. Tim's just managed to get some pop vinyls. Oh, Dude. wow, that's sick. Awesome. It's wet, it's wet. <laughs> if you look in the distance, there's Justin Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a very special day here at Epcot. Here to kick off Epcot's 35th anniversary celebration, please welcome Mariachi Cobre. celebrating 35 years as Epcot cast members. Let's hear it again for Mariachi Kobe! Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Fountain View Plaza in Epcot Future World. I am Brandon Peters, your 2017-2018 Walt Disney World Ambassador. And on behalf of the entire Walt Disney World cast, we welcome you to a celebration of the 35th anniversary of Epcot. In this morning's brief ceremony, we will hear from the Disney executives Melissa Valaket and George A. Calagridis. And I suspect there might be some added Disney magic along the way. Walt Disney once said, you can dream, create, 
design and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it requires people to make the dream a reality. We know that these last 35 years at Epcot would not have been possible without the amazing help of our cast members. Now please join us in welcoming our cast members representing the countries of World Showcase and the pavilions of Future World. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we proudly present Epcot's 35th anniversary procession. when he said, it takes people to make the dream a reality. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce a leader with a very rich Epcot heritage. Please welcome the Vice President of Epcot from 1995 through the Millennium Celebration and today the President of the Walt Disney World Resort, George A. Calagrita. As a Walt Disney World opening day cast member, I was curious to learn a few years into my career that we would be building a second park. I wondered why would we be doing such a thing when the Magic Kingdom already had six lands covering everything from the realm of fantasy to the wonders of tomorrow. I asked, what else could there possibly be? Then, as the plans for Epcot Center rolled out, I became really excited. So Mike has shown everybody the figment pot, everybody wants it. So they were doing 15,000 in this store. This is amazing! 15,000 in this store, 15,000 in the store. What did you think of the show? It was very cool. From what we could hear of it? Well, there was this girl, or it might have been a little boy, screaming. And I mean, that was one thing. But I mean, it was really cool. So I think the plan is we're going to head to the Odyssey Center, is that right? We're going to get some mac and cheese and because, a cone. Because they do mac and cheese and a cone. And they also have all the models from when Epcot, Epcot. opened. Yeah, they have. Spaceship Earth, Canada, and there's one more. But they also have food from when the park opened as well, which will be cool. I just want mac and cheese in a cone, you know? Yeah, it's actually 35 years old. Yeah? yeah. So it's like green. They just took it out of the fridge. Yeah. Is that the moss wall at Pandora? <laughs> so I'm back on the small camera now because the parade and the show and everything's out the way. And the big camera was very heavy. We're trying to get into Club Cool for a drink and then we've got a dinner reservation at Via Napoli. Oh, I'm gonna, first up I'm gonna try the Inca Cola. Becca's going for the Pineapple Fanta. Whoops. So every trip to Florida, I make it a tradition that I try a Beverly. Well, that's what I've got now. It tastes disgusting, but I'm still gonna have it. Look at this guy. That's so bad. So in the festival store, and apparently this is the line. Oh wow, look at all the decorations. This looks awesome. How awesome is this? It's a little bit bigger than the monorail set version that I want to go around the bottom of the Christmas Imagine tree. If you got one of these. Yeah, I'd need a bigger Christmas tree. This is the queue for the 35th merch shop and it goes all the way 
back down there. I would say roughly an hour line to get in. So we've just power walked all the way from Spaceship Earth up to Via Napoli. And we're in the restaurant now. We've just ordered a pizza. Can we get that garlic And some drinks. Can Sorry, Tim is trying to order garlic bread. We've never ate here before, so I'm very excited. So the beer flights come. This is a regular Italian light beer. This is a normal beer, and then we've got a double malt dark beer. Brady's just got some water. Tim got the beer flight, and Becca's just got a Diet Coke. They've just brought out some garlic bread, and how amazing does that look? That looks so good. Hey, All right, here. That's the main course. Yeah. Thank you. So the pizza's just came, and I can't even fit it all in. It's so big. That's it compared to Brady's head. That's how big it is. And it looks delicious. Look how awesome the ovens are. So we're now out of Via Napoli. It was our first time trying it. It was really, really good. Very surprised. It came at around $102 plus tip for the forward, which isn't bad. Pizza was huge. Me and Tim both had a beer flight. How did you like the beer, Tim? It was good, except for the last one. That last the last one. one just, yeah. It was like an IPA. It had like a fruity taste, but it shouldn't have been an IPA. The guy didn't describe it as an IPA. <laughs> so either, either he duped us, or he didn't know his beer. So we're having to walk back through the countries. I'm still looking for the fifth, 35th magic band. Then we're going to hit Figment and Soarin and Test Track are only 30 minute waits as well. So I'm so tired now. The heat getting to us. We're going to ride Journey into the Imagination because it's a 20 minute ride, which isn't really bad considering it's the 35th anniversary. No, it's a 20 minute ride, 20 minute ride. 20 minute wait, sorry. Do you want to just vlog for us, Tim? What? Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, they're using the extended queue as well. That's not good. The, right in the distance here. I've never seen the line outside of the building before. So we're now in Sorin. Figment was like a 35 minute wait, but we, we didn't want to wait 35 minutes when we could be just waiting 40 minutes for Sorin, which is a better ride. Just ignore Brady. Um, <laughs> So we're waiting 45 minutes, got a bottle of water because it's really hot. Tim's never been on Soarin' on the new one, so that, that's going to be good. Because by the way, this is Tim's first trip to Disney in like three years. So, But I'm surprised at how quiet the wait times are for being the 35th. So we're in the line for Soarin' and this guy's leaving. Sorry. So he's got all the bags, look. <laughs> Careful. Be careful of all the camera gear, bro. The 50 mil is in there. And I need that for tonight. Oh, yeah. You're watching That Florida Guy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more daily vlogs, Florida planning and guide videos, plus vlogs from the theme parks. Follow That Florida Guy and That Florida Girl on Twitter and Instagram, and check out our t-shirt designs on Spreadshirt. And remember, guys, stay tuned.